Ooh, of the smoke. Dominate choke. Ice, ice. My bro. What's good, my nieces and nephews of Homie Gang? <laughs> Yo, Uncle is back again with another video today, and look, look, look. You know what I'm saying? I seen, I've been seeing the hype and all this on Twitter. That current gen is starting to be the wave, and all this and that. That current gen. Which one we playing current, next, current, next. I really want to be in the stage this year, you know what I'm saying, so I can stream, you know what I'm saying, but I do have a lockdown issue. I need a, I need a lockdown, you know what I'm saying? We do have, I do need a lockdown, so look, if you a tough lockdown, let me know down below. But look, current gen is going to be lit. It's looking like it, bro. Everybody's in the current gen stage. Everybody been playing that 2.5 court. So I was like, I got to make me a current gen play shot build you know what i'm saying i found the best one i made this variation on next gen as well so it works for next gen and current gen you know the builder is the same look at my cute ass player you know what i'm saying all i need for y'all to do is to like the video leave a comment leave a comment leave a comment if you want to subscribe if you knew 60k on a mo freaking way i'm telling you this play shot build can do it all it can dunk it has good playmaking it can slash and it's called a playmaking shot creator man the name is just, i love the name i love the name playmaking shot creator and we got it on this build like I said, like on the video, leave a comment, leave a comment, leave a comment. If you like, moment, subscribe if you're new. Let's get into how to make the build. All right, we in the builder right now. You know what I'm saying? Starting off, you want to go position, point guard. <laughs> I like all my guard builds left-handed. Jersey number, I'm going to go with jersey number two. You already know, because God is first and everything else is second in my life. So I rock the number two on my body. <clears throat> For the uh, body settings, you want to go 6'1". You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be no little little body and weight don't really matter this year, but I like to have my build slight. So I go 185. I think it's 185. I go 185. Wherever you can get slight at. I think it's 180 exact. Let me see. Yeah, it's 180. I want 180. <laughs> Six, seven wingspan. You know what I'm saying? So my driving dunk can go up. Uh, actually, that even. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm geeking. 67 wing space on my driving dunk can go up a little bit. And I go slight body type. You have to be 180 pounds to get the slight body type. <clears throat> 79 on a close shot. Whatever, oh, I got it right here. I got to look down at 79 on a close shot. Driving layup, 81. You know what I'm saying? So we get all the good driving uh, layup animations. You know what I'm saying? All the good layup animations. Driving dunk, we went with an 80. 87 87 so you're gonna get the contact dunks and all that some people go with the 92 driving dunk and shit but nah nah nah, nah, nah. you don't really need you don't need all that driving dunk i ain't gonna lie you don't need 92 driving dunk all that that's this is excessive you feel me <clears throat> now you want to go 80 mid-range shot 80 mid-range shot 93 three-pointer and your free throw is a 72 free throw is 72 then you want to go uh 80 hold on hold on 88 on the pass accuracy 88 on the pass accuracy 88 max out your ball handling actually yeah yeah max out your ball handling and then your speed with ball at 88 speed with ball this year don't really matter too much because i'm telling you these big ass centers and shit uh six eight all these six eight demons y'all been seeing nigga they be having like a fucking 70 or fucking 60 speed with ball and they still catching up to me and i had a on um, one of my builds i had a 90 speed with ball this shit was pissing me off bro i was like what the fuck is going on here what's going on okay all right now for your defense perimeter defense is it's gonna be a 49 you you're like i said there be some of the brain dead park players that be like you're a defensive liability you're you're like this is how they be sound yeah defensive liability nigga suck my dick nigga i'm not playing defense i'm playing i'm only guarding the nigga that's in the corner and if the niggas is rotating it's not it's not like i need to stop like let them like bro what the fuck all you gotta do is rotate you this game you don't even need that much that that many defensive badges to guard a nigga unless you're playing lock and you're guarding the on-ball defender so for please for the niggas who is dumb and don't have no IQ about what I am going to be guarding? Don't say you're a defense liability. It has no defense. I don't need no fucking defense, motherfucking dummy. I'm guarding the fucking person that's sitting the lock that's sitting in the corner, bro. All he's doing is just sitting there and going to go shoot the ball. And he's gonna shoot the ball if he gets to catch and shoot. Nigga, I don't need no defense. I just to guard somebody just standing in one spot. 
stupid bitch. Nigga, I seen somebody say that shit on one of my videos. It pissed me off. Anyways, <clears throat> acceleration. You want to go 87 acceleration? You know what I'm saying? Carry on, let's carry on. Strength, you want to leave that at 31, 75 vertical. Let me get, uh, because you need an 86 driving dunk and like at least a 75 vertical for a, lo a lot of the good contact dunks or good dunks in the game. Like quick drops off one, that's an OP ass dunk. All these guards using it, they banned it. They banned that quick drop off one dunk package from tournaments and wagers because it's too OP. But like if you're playing regular stage, you can use it like this. I mean, you can use quick drop off one and it's OP. You're gonna get every dunk, all right? Stamina, uh, one with 95 stam because at 99 overall, at 99, well, actually, when I get gym rat, it's gonna be a 99 stamina. And when I get gym rat, I'm gonna have a 99 stamina, all right? This is gonna be my current gen build. I get 22 finishing, 26 playmaking, 29, uh, 26 uh, shooting, 29 playmaking, and one defensive. And then whenever I get uh, my, you, cause you get plus four uh, extra badges, I'm just gonna put it all, I'm gonna put one, one of that badges on finishing and the rest all on playmaking, all right? And then we go over here. I pick shot create and takeover because this is spot up shooter. I'm not a spot up shooter, so I don't need this takeover. It says spot up shooters get marked improvement to hit from deep, especially in catch and shoot situation. I'm not going to be catching shooting because I am the guard. So I'm not going to be doing that catch and shoot shit. So I might as well go with shot creator. And I was torn between slasher and playmaker. But the playmaker one, like you don't really lose stamina if you have playmaker. The playmaker take I've, I've seen. So I was like, I'm going to go with the playmaker one and just so I can drop defenders. You feel me? And shit like that. And then you get the name. You have built a playmaker shot creator. If you build it the same way on next gen, you're going to get the same name. Uh, uh, next gen, my build is a slightly different. Just not really at all. The badge count is still the same. I still get 22. But my playmaking, I get 30 on next gen. I get 30 playmaking on next gen. <clears throat> but I still get the 26 shooting, 22 uh, finishing, one defensive, and then uh, 30 playmaking on my next gen one. But this is going to be my current gen build for stage. I'm telling you, this is probably going to be one of the best play shot builds on the game, bro. I'm telling you right here. Now, let's get into the badge setup that I use for this build. All right, we are in the badge setup now, and I'm going with Fearless Finisher. Actually, I think went Fearless Finisher Bronze until I add that extra badge point on there. Then I'll probably go with Fearless Finisher on Silver. Uh, Slithery Finisher on this game. On next gen, Slithery Finisher is a tier 3 badge, but on this game, I can get it just without being tier 3, so I like that. I actually like that about this game. Some tier 3 badges, but you just can't core badges. That's the only ass part. But then I went with Giant Slayer, Posterizer. Look, Posterizer is not a tier 3 badge on this game, but on next gen, is a tier 3 badge and cost me hella badge points. But I went with Posterizer. Limitless Takeoff is probably one of the best badges this year, bro. Limitless Takeoff is one of the best badges this year, bro. As a guard, driving a lot, you want Limitless Takeoff. And then this is where I, I'm gonna have fast twitch, but I need three badge points. So I did, I think I took, I took, uh, I'll probably take my giant slayer down one and then put fast twitch up. And then I like, well, yeah, with well, my extra badge point that I'm gonna add on, cause like you get plus four badges, I'm gonna just throw it on my giant slayer. I'm gonna throw it on my giant slayer, cause for fearless finishers for layups and shit, and I don't really want, you know what I'm saying, care about layups. So like that. Your shooting badges, green machine actually works this year. So you want to go green machine. You don't need mid magician. You're not going to be taking really many middies while you're playing comp stage. You're either going for threes or you're going to rim run. Um, Agent three. Uh, let me take this guard up off because guard up does not work at all. Guard up, amped. Uh, amped. Blinders doesn't work. Uh, limitless range. And how many badge points we got left? Four. I would, I probably would put it on guard up, or you could put it on clutch shooter. Clutch shooter is actually a devious badge this year. Go, just go ahead and put it on clutch shooter, and then you can put your guard up on one. <clears throat> yeah, because clutch shooter is actually a, a devious badge this year. So hold on, let me see if I'm missing anything. I probably, I probably put on corner specialist because as it like, I be fading from the corner a lot. Just for my play style, I be fading from the corner a lot. So like. I'll run to the corner and fade. So like, I'm gonna have it a corner special one just so I can hit my fades better. So I did last year. For my playmaking badges, this is why you want the extra playmaking. Cause playmaking this year, you run, you need a lot of playmaking badges. You want handles for days, quick first step hall of fame. Um, I wish you could core on here, bro. I really do. Cause I, I be needing them extra playmaking badges. But uh, Unpluckable, I heard Hall of Fame, and I, I was gonna go with Hall of Fame, but I heard Hall of Fame and gold is basically the same. Like you still get ripped a whole lot but 
<laughs> nah, I, I want to re reduce the chances of me getting ripped as much as I can. So I'm gonna just go Hall of Fame with that shit. Hall of Fame with that. Killer combos and where's Break Starter? Not, not Break Starter. Clamp Breaker. Clamp Breaker is another devious badge we need right here. Cost seven. How many we got? Two. This is where you get your plus four. When I get my plus four, you see four plus two because we got two right here. Forget the finishing because we need it for this. Put it on your clan breaker. I'm telling you. Actually, this is what I'm gonna just actually do. I'm gonna take my unpluckable down. When you get your plus four, put it on clan breaker. I'm telling you, you need clan breaker, bro. This helps you get the blow buys. The blow buys to go dunk the ball. I'm telling you, put it on clan breaker. Clan breaker is a devious badge this year. And hyper drive actually works. It gives you a 10% speed, uh, speed increase off your takeoffs, kind of like a quick first step. So you want to go ahead and put hyper drive if you have that extra badge. But like when I get my plus four, I'm gonna put it on the clan breaker for so. sure. All right, and then your defensive badge. Let's go ahead and put on workhorse. That's, that's the only defensive badge you need. You're only really going to be guarding the corner. So, like, if you do get a pluck steal, you want that workhorse. Or if the rebound's going somewhere and you do want to get the rebound, you know what I'm saying? That's what workhorse is for. All right. Now, I like other video. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. Leave a comment. If you like your mama, subscribe if you're new. This is going to be my comp stage play shot build for current gen. I'm telling you, you can make this build on next gen as well. I've made this build on next gen. It's called play shot just as well as 22 finishing 26 shooting uh 30 uh defense and uh when i mean 30 playmaking and one defense on the, my next gen version but it basically you make it the same way all right appreciate larry single video y'all like the video leave a comment leave a comment leave a comment if you like your mama subscribe if you be your boy he uncle hk oh.